Ubuntu, a closer look at the controversial Windows inspired Linux distro. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into a topic that sparked debates in the Linux and open source community. Ubuntu, a Linux distribution designed to mimic Windows 11. While its interface may look familiar, questions about its legality, ethics and safety have raised red flags. Let's unpack what Ubuntu is, why it's controversial and how to navigate similar projects safely. So first, what is Ubuntu? Ubuntu, short for Windows Ubuntu, is a Linux based operating system built to replicate that look and feel of Windows 11. It uses the KDE Plasma desktop environment, customized with themes, icons and layouts that closely mirror Microsoft's flagship OS. On the surface, it appeals to users seeking a Windows-like experience with Linux flexibility. But here is where things get complicated. The legal and ethical concerns. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Is Ubuntu illegal? While Linux itself is a open source and free to modify, Ubuntu's approach walks a fine line. Microsoft's Windows branding, logos, and design elements are trademarked. Replicating them without permission could infringe on intellectual property rights, while no lawsuits have been filed publicly. Distributing software that mimics proprietary assets often invites legal risk. Furthermore, Ubuntu original website reportedly offered paid versions, which complicates its alignment with open source principles. Transparency about funding and development is critical in the Linux community and Vogue business models can erode trust. Let's talk about the security risks. Should you be worried? Beyond legal grey areas, there are concerns about safety. Unofficial Linux distributions, especially those hosted on lesser known platforms, can pose security risks. Malicious actors sometimes disguise malware as custom OS downloads. While there is no direct evidence Ubuntu contains harmful code, its niche status means it hasn't undergone rigorous scrutiny of mainstream distros like Ubuntu or Fedora. Additionally, users drawn to Ubuntu for its Windows-like interface might overlook basic security practices, assuming it's as secure as Linux. Always verify the authenticity of any OS and download it from trusted sources. The bigger picture, imitation versus innovation. Ubuntu also raises philosophy questions. Should open source project focus on imitating proprietary systems or should they innovate independently? Distros like Zorin OS or Linux Mint offers user-friendly interfaces without directly copying Windows proving that familiarity and originality can coexist. Imitation distros risk muddying the waters between open source freedom and corporate intellectual property. So how to stay safe? If you are curious about Linux, stick to reputable distributions. Ubuntu, Linux Mint and PopOS are beginner friendly and prioritizes security. Always download ISO files from official website, verify checksums and research projects before installing. For a Windows-like experience without the controversy, consider Zorin OS. It's polished, ethical and fully transparent. Now finally the conclusion. Ubuntu serves as a reminder that not all open source projects are created equally. While its concept is intriguing, the legal ambiguities and potential risk make it questionable choice. The Linux ecosystem thrives on trust and collaboration. Let's protect that by supporting projects that value both innovation and integrity. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried Ubuntu? What's your take on imitation distros? Let's discuss. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into tech and cyber security. Stay informed, stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purpose only. Always conduct independent research before downloading software. Views expressed are based on publicly available information as of March 2025.